Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump hating to generate travels to Iran to bash Trump and denigrate America. Bad idea. Iran has been pushing the limits for some time as they hope to become a nuclear power that is respected around the world. However, whenever they get close enough to contend, they find themselves back at the bottom. When President Trump took office, they were in for a rude awakening when he took the United States out of the Iran deal, otherwise known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action (JCPOA). In doing this, he delegitimated their country, ensured that the world knows the deal did not actually effectuate non-proliferation, and he put America first. Despite his efforts, there are some that still do not look at his work in a positive light. In fact, recently, a young woman, a Trump-hating Democrat took to social media to apologize no less to Iran on behalf of the United States. The reaction she has been getting is rightfully not very kind. The Gateway Pundit reported. Meet Rhode Island Kator Girl with Kaidoscope Eyes, this Trump-hating leftist recently traveled to Iran. Kate posted these photos on her Instagram page apologizing to the Iranian regime for President Donald Trump. Kate is a modern-day useful idiot. The people in Iran are suffering under one of the most abusive regimes in the world today. The people are out on the streets night after night protesting for clean water and food and freedom and opportunity. And idiot Kate is bashing the US and President Trump trying to look cute on Instagram. What an empty vessel. On America First News people commented on the article completing trashing this young woman and disparaging her for her actions. See what they had to say here. While I'm here, winning this year's Jane Fonda Award. Sophia's favorite, the VC didn't have an official manual for how to commit judicial RE. Iran does. They're basically Nazis who only don't make an active bid for Lebensraum because all their neighbors are much more willing to fight them than 1930s Europe was. However, Perhaps she should take into consideration what Iran has done and how its citizens are pushing back. Because if anyone had a comprehensive understanding of what Iran is capable of nobody would be apologizing to them for anything. Just these past few months, in the province of Khuzestan large demonstrations and protests, were held concerning the lack of water and access to it in the province. After the demonstrations continued for days the government began opening fire on the protesters. Live viral videos show chaos in the streets messy vandalism, and people running from all over the place. Radio Forda reported. Residents of the southern Iranian city of Borosyan have blocked the main road leading into the city as part of a protest over water shortages, state-run Iran Labor News Agency, ILNA, reports. On Sunday morning, July 22, several residents of Borosyan held rallies in the city center to protest the shortage of water, the provincial representative to the Supreme Council of Provinces, Ali Akbar Fatimai, told Ilna adding that security forces stepped in to disperse the demonstrators. Protesters, according to Fatimai, set off a huge blaze at the city's point of entry and disrupted the traffic for half an hour before the governor, police, and authorities affiliated with the city's water and sewage department stepped in and restored order. The county deputy for political and social affairs, Javad Lukmanzadeh, said peace and order was restored after protesters cooperated with the authorities, who promised to meet their demands. A provincial official in Borosyan has admitted that since the beginning of the spring the water supply to the area has decreased by 30,000 cubic meters daily. There are reports alleging the drop in supply is due to misuse of the water by influential agricultural landowners. Based on local reports, the taps in Borosyan have been dry for several days, and residents blame corruption and mismanagement by local authorities for the water crisis. Borosyan, the capital of Dashtestin County has experienced widespread protests against water shortages in recent days. Thousands of Borosyan residents poured into the streets July 7 to protest water shortages and what they described as the chaotic distribution of water. Chanting slogans against local authorities, the protesters assembled in the city's main square, where they demanded the governor take action. The governor's deputy and the city's Friday prayer leader tried to deliver a speech, but angry protesters forced them to flee. Footage widely circulated in social media show that despite the presence of hundreds of security forces, the demonstrators did not allow the Friday prayer leader, mid-ranking cleric Hassan Musla, to deliver his speech. Musla had earlier called upon the authorities to address the water shortages. Either the governor steps in, or we are going to raise hell. One protester insisted. Dashtestin's representative to the parliament, Mohammed Bakir Sadat, has accused the county's authorities of incompetence and procrastination regarding the water crisis, insisting, the people's anger is justified. They are even entitled to insult the authorities. According to Sadat, 
The water crisis was caused by the recent installation of more than 30 powerful water pumps on a nearby river by the owners of several orchards in the neighboring city of Kazarun. Sadat accused the orchard owners of illegally irrigation their fields at night. The governor of Kazarun, originally from the city's suburbs, has so far ignored an official order to dismantle the powerful pumps, Sadat maintained. Meanwhile, the New York-based Center for Human Rights in Iran, CHRI, reported, a civilian who was shot dead by the state security forces during the recent demonstration in Borasyan, Bushehr province in southern Iran, against the city's water crisis, was identified as Iman Ahmadi. The government's official news agency, Erna, had earlier confirmed violent clashes between protesters and security forces July 8. In recent months, people in many cities and agricultural areas have been protesting water shortages and environmental problems in Iran. Iran is, was, and will always be a threat to democracy everywhere. Not only do they starve their own people, as these water protests have shown, but they continuously violate international law with their nuclear program which has led to innumerable economic sanctions. While their large reserve of fossil fuels remains a concern as they work behind the scene to build up their nuclear fortitude. Their potential impact on the energy and world economy is frightening and it makes it now more important than ever to stand up to them. Which is why we are lucky to have a president like President Trump. People like Kate should be ashamed of themselves for emboldening a country that so easily violates international norms and laws. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.